Hello and welcome to the Robot C Programming Challenge. Uh, today's tutorial will deal with Challenge 1. So, what you want to do is go to your home drive, find the folder called My Robotics. Inside that you'll find the various challenges. We want to focus on Challenge 1. Double click on Challenge 1, that will open up the Robot C program and we'll be ready to begin. Now, our goal or our task for Challenge 1 is to add code for a motor. What we want to do first is go up to the top left hand corner where it says text functions and we want to display the menus of commands that we'll be using for this challenge. So first things first, we'll go to natural language, we'll click on the little plus sign that expands the menu, we'll click on the little plus sign under movement, and then we'll click on the little plus sign next to wait, and this will display the commands that we're going to be using. First command we want to use, start motor. So let's drag this out, We'll place it under, on, uh, just underneath the left curly brace, underneath task main, and this command starts the motor. Now, there are a couple things we need to fill out. So, we need to fill out the motor port and the speed. Now, the motor port that we're looking for is for the right motor. So, uh, we called this motor, well, we called it right motor. So right and then remember we're using camel case which is which means that you you connect the two words and you capitalize the second word okay so right motor which we see right up here which is in port 2 um, speed well we want it to start at full speed which is 127 and that will start the right motor now we want to put comments in so that we can be very clear about uh, what we're uh, what we're doing. So um, what I'm using is the tab button on my keyboard to bring this over and I'm going to use the forward slash key and when you add comments the the, uh, the code turns green or the writing on the screen turns green and anything green is not read by the program. Okay so this line where it says program begins that will not be read this program ends that will not be read by the program only uh, what is not green will be read by the program. So, just going to write a quick note about what this does. This starts the right motor at full speed. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is bring out uh, a wait command. So, I'm going to come up under wait. We're going to take the first one, wait, wait time. So, I'm going to drag that down right underneath. And we have to fill in a wait time. And we're going to go ahead and fill in three seconds. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add a comment. Waits three seconds. So we drag down stop motor. And I'm going to have to go ahead and fill in what port it is. And I'm just going to type right motor. And for a comment, use the tab button to get over here. Two forward slashes. And I'll just write a quick comment, stops the right motor. Okay, so after you've written your program, you want to make sure that you save. Then what you need to do is you need to compile the program and then download it to the robot and then start the program. So I'm going to compile. And this shows you if you have any errors. And um, let's take a look and see what came up. As I look at this, I'm noticing that I am missing a curly brace that I must have deleted by mistake. So we have, for the task main, we have an, a left-handed curly brace, and I believe we're missing a right-handed curly brace. So I'm going to go ahead and put one in, and then I'm going to save, and then I'm going to compile the program, and now no errors this time, and then I'm going to download the program to the robot. Now. Once it's done downloading to the robot, you press start and it will play the program on your test bed, as this video will show you in just a second.